No one can play Sim City like me. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you doing today? Um, Portland, Oregon. Doing the beer review from here. Um, I already decided to pour my beer so I can play a rousing game from using my Google Nexus 7 product placement at its best. Today I'm going to try two beers from Portland. Um, I'm going to first use uh, take a sample of Portland Brewing Company's Black Watch. It is a cream porter. So, all right, it's really dark in color. It has a very beige, kind of caramel colored head on it. And yes, I am in a nice hotel room. Has a dark roast to it, and usually I'm not much of a porter fan, but this is actually pretty damn good. Um, has a roasted malt barley taste to it. It is good. The roast taste is not that strong. I don't know why they uh, call it cream, cream porter, because there's no cream to this. But, pretty good, actually. Um, has s some, almost some caramel notes in there. Good. I, I would say, um, I would give it a four. And still not a, that much of a porter fan, but this is actually pretty good. Um, all right, now second beer for this Portland Throwdown is something called Widmere Brothers. It this is Widmere Brothers. Oh, we gotta get the actual bottle. It is the green and gold. It's also the it's a beer, apparently, that's famous with the Timbers Army, their, uh, the, or the Portland Timbers, their soccer team. It's a Widmere, Bre uh, Widmere Brothers beer, and let me see what it says. It, we are RCTID. Not even going to look that up. Each year, the Timbers Army and the 177th-ist what? Yeah, host a homebrew competition bringing uh, out the best in what makes the Rose City great. Craft, beer, creativity, and a passion for the green and gold. Which are their colors for their um, team. If you haven't noticed, very, very clear, very yellow, almost a non-existent head. Got a sour taste, but not too bad. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I, I, what happened is um, I have been a, basically uh, a, uh, since I got here a few days ago. I've been on a steady diet of uh, arepas, which are Venezuelan corn cakes. I found this place that makes arepas, and it's almost hard to find people who actually make arepas. And then I went to Jake's Crawfish. How how interesting. And how ironic, because my name's Jake. Hey, there we go. Uh, crawfish, chicken, and prawn etouffee. If you don't know what etouffee means, it means smothered. It's a really powerful stew. Um, so I, I'm going to have to work this off when I get back. <laughs> um, yeah, this, very light, has a little bit of a carbonation to it. Um, it's not too sour. Got a bite to it. It's just a a decent smell. It's it's okay. It's not the best. It's it's a decent ale. It's a Kolsch. I can't even pronounce that. Ale. It's German style ale. It's fairly decent. It's 
mid, mid uh, I would give it a 3.5. It's not the best, not the worst. It just feels bland by itself. So, which is funny because I'm, I'm more of an ale person usually, but guess what? Hey, Portland Brewing Company, and also it's done by McTarnahan's, if I forgot to leave that in, has defeated the Windmere Brothers Green and Gold. Hey guys, um, great big review. Um, I'm going to get uh, do Men's Room Red probably next week, or Narwhal. I have my fridge and Cosby Slayer. Hopefully, it's not as bad as um, the Vanilla Otis. I'll never live that down. But hey, guys, um, share, like this, um, help me grow this YouTube channel. Um, guys, uh, I'll talk to you next time. Good night.